I've been wearing zero shoes now for almost a decade and I see that they're doing a, a sale, fall sale, whatever they want to call it, year sale. I wanted to make a video on my top three, but at the end of this video, I'm going to include a video that I did not too long ago about my top five zero shoes and why, and I reviewed all the zero shoes <laughs> that I've worn over the years, which is over 20. I might actually be over 25 pair. I'm also going to include a playlist of me reviewing, I think every pair of zero shoes that I've had, including the sandals and boots. But I wanted to give a top three just because we're coming, the sales here, it's like over 70% on some of these things. And people are probably going to want to know like the three best. I'm going to also include why they're like my favorites. I'm going to include which ones, the, the one I would 100% buy. So I'm going to start off with my number three. My number three is the HANA. Now, my if you watched my videos for long enough, you'll know that the HANA was actually my favorite for a really long time. It has been ousted. And the reason I'm doing this in the order that I'm doing this in is because of, of functionality. So they have unintentionally, now if, if you're not a deadlifting person, it, you know, this isn't going to make any sense to you, but they have unintentionally made the best deadlifting shoe, I think, on the planet. Now, if you're going to be using this for weights, weightlifting or whatever, or the gym specifically, I would buy this at least a half size less, uh, if not a full size less um, than you would if you were just going to kind of wear it casually. That is my, the reason I say a full size less is because I kind of have to, my normal size is anywhere from a 13 to 14, but these are a size 12. They fit really good, but they are a little snug. And I like that, especially if you're going to be deadlifting, if you're going to be doing anything in the gym. And a lot of heavy lifters will wear Chuck Taylors. Chuck Taylors blow out. This, if this blows out, where are you going to go? You're not, you know, like the Chuck Taylors, you're like that far off the ground. In this thing, you're like five millimeters off the ground. So even if it did blow out, yeah, it would suck still, but it's not going to be as catastrophic. But outside the gym, it's good for casual. It's good for even work. I've worn, worn these at my postal job, my government job. I've worn these in every kind of facet you can think of. I've used these for hiking. I've used these for biking. I've used these for just walking, city, not city, you know, like rural areas. These things have been put through the test. The only thing I wouldn't really think these things would be good for is like you've got to dress up, if you've got to go to like a formal event. These aren't going to be your shoe, probably, unless you can get away with it. But I wouldn't buy them specifically for that. Yes, these shoes are absolutely amazing. I believe they're continuing to make them. The last time I checked their website, they were continuing to make them. So check them out. They're my number three. Uh, the, the reason they're my, my number three is the lacing on these is great. It's fine. But I do like my number two better, which is the Prio. You can really uh, customize it a little bit more with the lacing system on these than you can with the uh, HANA and that and because of that it's better for like like I said I had I had them for my government job and for a couple of other jobs that I've had um, these are definitely the shoes that I would want to wear for that situation because of like I said they tie they're a little bit thicker they wear a lot better I know there's been some people that have had uh, this uh, the the front here come unglued. I have a pair upstairs that literally the original Prios from like the day they deb debuted. I've had them that long. I, they're so just worn, <laughs> but the glue hasn't come off. And they're ironically the shoes that I most wear in inclement weather, like if it's raining or something like, I don't know what it is. I automatically just wear those shoes. So those things have put, put been put through the ringer. Uh, I just liked this color scheme better, so I brought this one down. But this Prio, again, for weightlifting, for any kind of gym activity. Now, if you're going to buy a shoe straight for activi or activity at the gym, I would either buy the HANA or the 360. And I have review reviewed the 360, so go check that review out. Again, uh, I, f I forgot to say, I got an affiliate link down below, so go check that out. It'll be in the description section and the comment section if I remember. These things you can walk walk around in. You can probably like hike in them. You can, I, I mean, there's very little that these things can't do. Again, though, these are not going to be the shoe that you're going to wear to like a wedding or something like that. Maybe the black pair, maybe you can get away with that. I don't know. Depends on the wedding. Depends on the job. If you need formal, if you're going to a, like a fancy restaurant, might not be able to pull it off, but you might be able to pull it off. Who knows? Steve Jobs did it, right? Um, 
So yeah, that's the uh, that's the the prio in a nutshell. I mean, it's basically anything that you can possibly think of doing in this type of shoe and probably more than you really think you can get away with. I'm sure you can go on a decent hike with these things, especially if you're somebody who really likes barefoot at any level. My number one, and by far my number one, is the Speed Force. These things, I love the tread on them. I love everything about them. They're, they're like not having shoes on, which is what I like. I don't really like shoes at all. I, I own one pair of socks. Like, I don't like having stuff on my feet. I don't have anything on my feet right now. And if I could go out in the world without anything with uh, you know anything on my foot, I would. But this is about as close as you get. I do notice, though, that I kind of walk a little, a little over stride in this sometimes. So I really have to be cognizant of that. But I do like the lacing system on this. I like how light they are. I like just everything about this shoe it does have a little bit of a wear and tear here but for whatever reason these shoes are the shoes that i end up like if i'm gonna have a, like a long day like if i if i gotta go to like new york or something like you know like i'm and i'm gonna be in these shoes for like 16 hours i don't know what it is these are the, I, I know what it is because i like these shoes but these are the shoes that always seem to be the longest days that i've got like you know gonna be in the shoes this is the shoes that i go to these are the shoes that are perfect for any kind of athletic endeavor that doesn't need cleats or doesn't need anything like that. What I I wouldn't call them lifting shoes by any means. Sorry, I keep looking at them, not the camera. I would not lift in them, I don't think. I don't think I would use them for that. But any kind of like pre-warm-up, any kind of running, any kind of jogging, any kind of speed walking, any kind of anything like that like or even drills or just any any athletic pursuit if you're somebody who likes to bounce on the trampoline maybe the outdoor one or indoor one and you want something on your feet for whatever reason that might be a really good option i haven't tried it because i don't see why you would bounce on a trampoline with shoes on but that's me and I can't imagine too many situations that I wouldn't like this shoe in, but again, it's not going to be as wear and tear as this is, I don't think. That being said, I have, other than that, other than this back part coming off a little bit, or uh, just tearing a little bit, these things are in really good shape. Like, when they're on, you can't even tell that that's, that, you know, that that, that situation is going on. So, take that into account. Now, if I could only choose one pair, it would be the Speed Force, 100%. But if I had a normal job, you know, like a normal job, then this is what I, what I would pick um, over the Hana. Now, it depends on the job, I guess. When I was just a window clerk at the post office, this was this is actually the one I would would use. But when I had to do um, like distribution, this is the one I would pick. But I have a black pair because government jobs, you know black shoes that's it that's it like if i was going to wear a pair of shoes and i only could wear one pair of shoes it would be the speed force just because my life is different than it used to be and it's it's definitely like a well-wearing shoe but it's not one that i would want to wear at a job every day because of just to wear and tear, I would think that the Prio is going to be the number one for that. If you can buy two pairs of shoes, I would probably buy the Hana, and that would be a toss. That would be that would be rough. That would be rough. I don't know which ones I would buy. If I could only buy two of them, I guess it would depend on the situation. I would probably buy the Prio and the Speed Force just because the Prio is going to get you through almost every situation. And then the Speed Force are just like, they're even better than the Hana because the Hana are a little thicker. Uh, if you like a little thicker shoe, then the Hana would replace the Speed Force. But I don't know. They're, they're kind of interchangeable. See which ones you like for which. But that would be that would be what the ones I would choose would be these three now again right now probably you're seeing it because at the end of the video i did compare all 20 plus that i've worn over the years and came down to a top five but unfortunately i think two of the top five now you can't buy anymore <laughs> so i think actually 
the the three from the top five of that one might be these three here. I don't remember. <laughs> and then I'm going to also include the playlist of all my reviews for all the shoes that I've worn from them. And that's it. Any comments, questions down below? I've been wearing these shoes a very long time. And I have to say that I'm pretty knowledgeable about it. So if you've got any questions that you might need answered, obviously Steve Sashin's better at answering these than me, but I'm a pretty close second on that because I've been wearing these since before they were even zero shoes. That's it. Anyway, talk to you in the next one. Peace.